Today, we're gonna to be talking about new construction. What communities are sold out? What communities are still available? How long are the wait lists? How long is it taking to get a home? We're gonna talk about all of these things. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with Active Realty and I am a realtor here in the Murrieta Temecula Valley. Thanks for checking out this video and we would love it if you would like, comment, or subscribe to our channel. My husband Chris and I, we are full-time realtors throughout the Temecula Valley. And I would say that about half of our business currently is new construction. We've been doing a lot of new construction lately and the environment and the sales process at these sales centers has been changing very rapidly. So I thought I would make this brief video just to kind of give you an update about what's going on. If you'd asked me a month ago or two months ago, how soon you need to start shopping for your new construction home, I would have said about six months in advance. If you're buying a dirt lot and you wanna pick all of your finishes and your structurals, like your floor plan, things like that. Um, but now uh, the sales process, um, it, it's, much crazier at these sales centers where the wait lists are longer. Um, we're having to wait through multiple phase releases for my clients to get homes. So now, uh, depending on the community, I mean, some communities you can still get in in about six months and I'll tell you which ones those are, but some uh, we're easily looking at a year or more, or uh, we might not even get one before build out. We're gonna start with my usual stomping grounds, starting with Spencer's Crossing in Northeast Marietta. Um, the most popular community, in my opinion, in Spencer's Crossing right now is Overland. They still have several phases to go, but they have a very long wait list. Um, in fact, their third model, uh, which is their largest floor plan, the Sycamore, they have actually completely closed that model for right now. They're not even doing tour of it because the wait list is so long um, which leads me to another topic just how quickly it's changed since the beginning of the year like my client um, reserved one of the sycamores he's moving in gosh I want to say like around August or so but he wasn't on the wait list for that long maybe like a phase or so before he was able to get one but then after that um, I think last I heard they had 28 people or so on the wait list so they closed that model but the other two models the the Magnolia and the Savannah they are are still doing tours for those but only open to do self tours on the weekends so Saturday and Sunday from 1 o'clock to 4 30 you can go through there otherwise you need an appointment and um, the appointments were taking like a month or so to get we're gonna kind of hop around here um, so Overland has a sister property out in Menifee and Audie Murphy Ranch called Compass and it's pretty much the same story over there so Compass is a little bit less expensive than Overland Menifee in general is a little bit less expensive than Murrieta uh, but last I heard they had closed the sycamore plan the big one over there as well but they have three other plans that um, I would say it's gonna take you a few phase releases but there is still chances to get those they do have several phases remaining they are releasing them very slowly I would say they're like I don't know every three weeks to a month or so it seems to be going very slowly um, one tip if you are considering new construction is to work with an agent that works in new construction regularly because I, I had a couple clients they bought and I believe it was phase 1b in compass for it seemed like at least a couple months that they were doing tours of the models while they were under construction so they were doing a lot of pre-selling before it was even open to the public so my clients they were able to secure homes at that time by the time it's open to the public uh, it seems like the wait list are already going so definitely get in contact with a realtor that is working in, re in new construction regularly so that you can be in the know of when communities are um, starting to pre-sell before they open Back to Spencer's Crossing, um, Pulte's Aspen community, they still have a few phases to go to, not a ton, um, but there, I, I do think that if you were to get on the wait list, you would have a very good chance of getting a home in that community. We have a video about that one. I will say that they are doing a very slow releases at Pulte as well. Like they they release a lot on a Saturday, like often every weekend or every other weekend, like one or two homes. So it is a very slow drip, um, which <laughs> leads me to another thing. If you um, have a quicker time frame uh, even if a community is sold out or close to being sold out or the wait list seems long they um, they do get cancellations sometimes like I get notified about cancellations throughout the different communities throughout the area 
all the time. So you can get a, a great home uh, that can often be a quick move in. A lot of times they fall out because like the people couldn't get their financing or whatever the situation is, but a lot of times the home is almost complete. So you could close on that home with, within 30 days. We call it a quick move in. An important thing to note about the quick move ins is that you are not gonna be able to pick as many custom things for the home. Oftentimes the former buyer of the home is already gonna have made all the structural decisions. So if you wanted the patio cover and they didn't choose that, if you wanted the fourth bedroom instead of the loft and they didn't choose that, that's no longer gonna be an option. Oftentimes the cabinets and even the countertops and sometimes even the flooring has already been picked out as well. Sometimes with quick move-ins, um, oftentimes you can still pick the flooring, but not always. Last side note about quick move-ins that I often get is once it uh, falls out of escrow and, and goes back to the sales center, are you able to get a good deal on that property because it's sold at a few phases ago pricing? And the answer in my experience is no, they reprice the home, including all the upgrades that the buyers have chosen to the current phase pricing typically. Richmond American and Spencer's Crossing is also uh, very sold out. So uh, Palmetto, they have wrapped up and um, like I just spoke with Seasons yesterday, which so Richmond had three communities in Spencer's Crossing. So Seasons being the most affordable, they I believe are releasing their last phase. I'm trying to think if they have one more phase. Or, or two more phases coming up, but I, I think it was only one more phase and then, and then the models. Um, so that community is just about done as well and they already have people on the wait list. So besides cancellations, um, I'm thinking that one is gonna be done. So let's move on to some communities that does have some inventory currently. Like I work a lot with Lennar out in Menifee. They have three different communities in Menifee. So the ones that I work in for the most part are um, Menifee Town Center. So you've got Union Place and Park Ridge over there and they do have um, homes to sell left. They have, they have a few phases left, I believe. Um, the wait list is not super long. My last client actually this past weekend, they were on the wait list, but they just got on the wait list like a week ago and they did not get a home. It was um, six homes that they released, but they were the very next person on the list. So I'm pretty confident that the next phase they are going to get a home. So I would say one to two phases to get a home in Union Place or Park Ridge. And that is one of the more affordable new construction communities. It's been very popular with my clients. Close to shopping, close to the freeway for commuters, and then you get Lennar's, everything included. Really simple buying process. The price is the price. You don't get too nickel and dimed like you do um, some other builders. <laughs> um, the other in our community that I work in very regularly is going to be Heritage Lake. That's on the other side of Menifee, Northeast Menifee. That's for my clients that want a little bit quieter of lifestyle. You're not, you know, super close to shopping and things, but it's very quiet. Great amenities, lake, pools, trails, all those things. So they had three communities there. So Hampton, Chelsea, Rockport. Chelsea and Rockport are just about done. Like I think Chelsea just released its last phase on Saturday, which was a kind of a miracle. My client got one of the last plan threes in Chelsea. Um, because their their wait lists there are are not super long, so he got super lucky because that that was the last phase. Besides the models and um, besides the parking lot, I think there is going to be like a couple more Chelseas, but um, that's when uh, the, the last home that they sell uh, in in these communities is always the sales center parking lot. That's normally like one or two homes, but they sell it at the very end and they model all of the communities at Heritage Lake in one sales center. So um, the community of Ham Hampton still has probably like a year to go, so I don't really see them taking out the sales center parking lot anytime soon. So I'm super glad that my client, because he liked no other houses, him and his wife didn't like any other houses that we saw. They were totally set on Chelsea and we got it. So very happy about that. Um, so, uh, you know, Rockport, again, I think they have one phase remaining. I know that there's no plan fours, which is the larger, um, which is the larger model in that one. So that one is very close to being done as well. Um, but Hampton, on the other hand, has, um, like I said, a year to go. So you could definitely get a Hampton. Um, so they, they did a Hampton release on Saturday with, with the normal phase release. And I think that um, they, they sold a few of them, but even two or three of them didn't sell right away. So they might even have a little bit of standing inventory if it, if it hasn't sold by now. But um, definitely, you know, next phase or two for Hampton, no problem. 
Next, let's talk about Somers Bend and Temecula, which is the last master plan community in Temecula. So um, I just touched base yesterday with a sales rep over at Arborly, which is a Richmond American community, and they are nearing the end of that community as well. They're in like phase six or seven, I think currently, um, and they have nothing available and they do have a priority list currently and they're being kind of particular about who they put on the priority list they although this community was like the base prices were in like the high fives and the sixes now they want people pre-qualified to at least seven hundred thousand once you add in the lot and the elevation premium they want people that are particularly qualified. So that one is nearing the end, um, but not to get discouraged because a lot of these communities, they're kind of smallish, but as soon as they wrap those up, then they do open other communities. So although we're at the tail end of a lot of communities, um, new communities will be opening soon and I will try to keep you updated on that. Esplanade at Somers Bend. This is an interesting one and maybe you guys can even help me out with this one. So that is the 55 and older community uh, within Somers Bend. It's built by Taylor Morrison and highly, highly anticipated. I've had a lot of calls about that community. I have one client on the wait list. They were supposed to be open already, the models, but they are not open to the public right now. But I do believe that they are working by appointment, but I think they're working only off the wait list. And like my client who has been on the wait list for quite a while, has not gotten called in yet. So maybe you guys could let me know, is anybody getting called in yet? Because I do believe that the models are finished and I know that they're pre-selling, but I don't have the details on that because I don't have anybody in there right now. So if you could shed some light on that situation, I'd appreciate it. That is going to be a gated community within Somers Bend is, is not gated, but they're, they are going to be gated. It's 55 only. They have um, single story and two story plans, but um, you know, geared towards um, seniors so I think your master and everything is for the most part going to be on the first floor um, so let me know what you know about that Let's talk uh, briefly about a couple new construction communities out in Winchester. So we've got Eagle Crest and then Camberley Place, I believe it's called the KB community, which is very near to Pulte's Eagle Crest. Uh, Eagle Crest has three sub communities built by Pulte and I believe that they are pretty close to being done as well. I know I've got a couple people on the wait list for Verbena and I think that they have a good chance of still getting a home. They're just not releasing them very quickly, but they do still have a handful and then they're going to be selling all the models too so that'll be at least nine models and speaking of models right next door at KB's Camberley Place they are selling all of their models currently so they have like six of them I believe and um, they're also they have one more lot I believe that they're selling so they have one more regular home plus the six models and those models they are priced in like the, the low 500s and 600s so yeah Camberley Place it is part of Temecula Unified School District although it's in Winchester it is part of Temecula School District district, which is very highly rated. So where is all the new construction inventory currently? Well, I, I'm not really aware of any communities that are beginning to build anytime soon right now. So that's what I need your help for. I'm, I'm looking all the time. I know that they're gonna be popping up. So if you see anything, definitely let me know. And if I see anything like I have posted, like for, gosh, I always call it party, but now they're called TriPoint, but like Compass and Overland at Spencer's Crossing and Audie Murphy, you know, I did uh, release a video that they're doing pre-selling and Somers Bend, they're doing pre-selling, even though they're not already opening. Um, I, I will let you know. And if you could let me know, I would really appreciate it. All right. Hope this video helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye.